Isn't it amazing what people do during Juma? Like reading newspapers. Yeah, like reading newspapers. Some people even pass out pictures. <laughs> Is this you? <laughs> Some people even sleep during Juma. But can you blame them? The chutbahs are sometimes very boring. <coughs> very boring. It's not always their fault. Sometimes the khatib needs some tips. So today we're going to give some khatib some tips. So here it goes. Tip number one. Remind people to turn off their cell phones and that includes you as well. If there's one thing that we need to remember is that... Is that me? Tip number two. Do your best to be on time. Where's the khatib? Tip number three, ask people not to talk during the khutbah. The companions of the Prophet... You guys want to get some food after Juma? Yes, the companions of the Prophet, they used to... Oh, that sounds cool, man. Cool. Sounds good. Did you know you can't even talk during the khutbah? Are you serious? Yep. You can't talk. You can't even tell someone to be quiet during the khutbah. I can't even tell them to be quiet? That counts as talking. What if the brother says salam alaikum to me? You can't return his salams. Can I tell him to be quiet? No. I guess that's good to know. Tip number four, try not to speak in a monotone voice. My dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam, the exciting events in the Battle of Badr happen. Tip number five, don't extend the khutbah at 1.55 p.m. It looks like we're running out of time I know it's close to 2 o'clock and almost, I know most of you have to go back to work, but this is a very interesting topic, so please, brothers, uh, give me another 20 minutes so I can explain it in further detail. Aw, oh, dude, that's just wrong. Tip number six. Advise people to come at the beginning of the khutbah. The angels sit at the doors of the masjid with scrolls and they write the names of the people who enter. And when the event is read, they roll up their scrolls, and they go listen to the khutbah. Man, I need to start coming in early. I keep getting stuck with these cheap seats in the back, plus I need that extra reward for coming in early. Tip number seven. Try not to speak with too many pauses. There was a time where many of those who <laughs> it's so frustrating. Please let it out. I have... Tip number eight. Talk about relevant issues. If you don't know how to make voodoo and you're at Juma, we have a problem. You mean there's people here at Juma that don't know how to make voodoo? Apparently so. This is why we have so many khutbas about voodoo. Or we don't have other issues to talk about. We got other issues to talk about. So spice up the khutbah. Let's talk about issues that are relevant. Like what? Like marriage. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? So I hope these simple tips have helped you. At least have a reminder of certain things that are going through people's heads that are not the khatibs. We kind of ran out of type, we kind of ran out of time, and we're pretty much done. So, inshallah, please take the tips. Jazakallah khair for listening. This is Ali reminding you just in case you forgot. Assalamu alaikum.